Good day, everybody. This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to talk about sample size determination. So I'll share my screen with you. To find the minimum sample size, to find the confidence interval of the population mean we use the formula X bar plus minus M, where X bar is the sample mean, and M is the margin of error, which is given as the product of two things. One is Z alpha by two, other is sigma divided by square root of N. So margin of error is Z alpha by two multiplied by sigma divided by square root of N. Now, what is Z alpha by two? It is the critical value of Z to the right of which the area under the standard normal curve is alpha by two. What is alpha? Alpha is the level of significance, which is one minus C. C is the confidence level. Now, sigma is the population standard deviation and N is the sample size. Thus, the confidence interval for the population mean with one minus alpha level of confidence is X bar sample mean plus minus Z alpha by two multiplied by sigma divided by square root of N. If you have time, you can check out my video on how this confidence interval formula is derived, okay? So margin of error, as I told you, M is equal to Z alpha by two multiplied by sigma square root of N. What is margin of error? Is the maximum error possible between the sample mean and the population mean, okay? So multiplying both sides of this M equation by square root of N, we get square root of N times M is equal to Z alpha by two multiplied by sigma because the square root of N in the denominator on the right side, right side of the equation cancel with sigma square root of N, which we multiply when we multiply. Now we'll divide by M on both sides of the equal to sign to get square root of N equal to Z alpha by two multiplied by sigma divided by M. Remember sigma is the population standard deviation. Now, if we square both sides, we get N, which is the minimum sample size necessary in parentheses, Z alpha by two, which is the critical value of Z. And alpha is the level of significance, which is one minus confidence interval multiplied by sigma, which is the population standard deviation divided by M margin of error and the whole thing is squared. That gives you the minimum sample size. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question, please write me a comment and I'll get back to you. Also, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll come back next time with another problem, with another solution. See you next time. Take care. Have a nice day.